What up, guys? This is Wolf over here speaking with my man, Con Confident. Confident, Confident. yes. I, yes. I, I messed up, with, uh, I messed up Yo, twice. you didn't butcher it too much. All right, you're right, right. And immediately, <laughs> Numbers just gets like this crazy, this crazy game. Yeah. Already taking advantage of the fact that Diddy can easily get hit out of his barrels. Mm -hmm. And now we're back to the neutral. I'm interested as to why his Utopian Ray is playing with Diddy, but I do like it because of the buffs. Yes. So uh, I guess the buffs made Diddy viable. We haven't seen any Diddy's really play at a high level just yet. But um, I know James is working on the character even as we speak. But I like to see the Diddy. The Diddy looks good. Uh, the Diddy looks good from what I've seen, the Twitter combos. <laughs> yeah, no, it's always good to see variety. Um, I think the Diddy was viable before. I just think that this game is at a point where a lot of people are just, like, skipping over most of the characters because it's like, oh, this is the top tier. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to play. Yeah. As opposed to exploring a lot mm -hmm. of other characters that are going, you know, unnoticed. Yeah. Meta Knight, Resident Sleeper. Anyway, <laughs> but we see numbers here with only at 124%. Mm -hmm. Not going to die just yet. Mm -hmm. Has to assume control of the neutral at this point. And, you know, with Diddy's Banana and Pop Gun, it's like, how how how's never going to... Oh, well, <laughs> How's he going to reset the neutral? And that's the thing. If uh, Utopian Ray can take this stock now, this isn't a bad game for him. Although he got gimped extremely early. Don't get him. <laughs> um, okay, 91%. I was better at about 70%. But 91%, Diddy can uh, put on percentage pretty quickly. So this isn't uh, a bad place for Diddy to be at. I know. I mean, in this game, I feel like he still kind of has, like, the same game plan, right? Uh-huh. You know, Rack a percent by yeah, getting combos left and right up until he gets you to his kill percent where he can get his BNB his BNB kill set. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they're still the same. I'm not sure if you still have down tilt stuff, but Ray definitely needs to find a way to kind of just put the pressure on numbers because he's giving a little he's giving him a lot of space to move at the moment. Mm -hmm. Now you see the uh, the down tilt stuff that Diddy had in Smash 4. I I have seen them on Twitter. I have seen different combos here and there. Uh, it just doesn't look as easy as it was in Smash 4. So it, it looks like Di is or Smash Di is definitely more of a factor when it comes to uh, the down tilt combos and and whatnot. But I have seen some shenanigans with like falling near. I've seen like falling near to a dunk to like back air to like different things. Like uh, Diddy does have some tools. Yeah, no, and this is this is this is where Utopian Ray really needs. Oh, wow, wow! All right, well, okay. This is where he really needs to start showing them because, like you said, at seventy percent, if he would have took the stock, that would have been good. But he did take out a little bit too too much damage. Yeah. So now Utopian Ray has to find a way to just make this back. He has to pressure John Numbers and stop giving him a lot of a lot of space because yeah. Numbers is kind of just playing around him and spacing him out with back airs and kind of just making Ray play his game, mm -hmm. which I believe that Ray is kind of he isn't used to that because he's the type of player to when you play Ray you, you play his game yeah <laughs> you know, like, definitely. Like, like you un, unknowingly you're like wait, wait wait I'm doing exactly what he wants with mm -hmm. me. and he's that type he's that good of a player yep you know and yeah. I think that he's unfamiliar with this mm -hmm. uh, I feel like Ray has a uh, does a really good job of controlling the pace of a match like if it if it's going too fast he has no problem slowing it down no matter what character you're playing no matter how rushed down you are so um, I feel like that's what he has to do uh, against John right now because yeah. because although Inklings is a, a rush down character, if you let Inklings set up, that's when Inkling is, is in their prime. Like you let them set up the bombs, you let them set up where they want to be, like down smash and all that. Like you're, you're in a bad place. Yeah, no, exactly. And like you said, this is that's the thing about numbers. He's doing a fantastic job of actually slowing it down more yeah. than right. He's yeah, like, you know definitely. what? No, I no, agree. no, I'm going to control this pace. I agree. But now at 0% to 188, I mean, this is, I mean, if he gets hit with the roller, it's, it's an easy up smash, so he will die. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's not, it's not as bad as it could have been, considering how, how much the percentage deficit was at a deficit. Wow! Great bait! Yeah, and actually just saving insane. his second jump, catching him with the up air, mm -hmm. and knowing that, you know, it's just like, I'm going to rack up a little bit more percent on you. You know? yep. And then you're at least going to be at percent for, for me to kill you. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if the ink affects the throws as well uh -huh. or if it's just the, well, yeah, the, the knockback on the throws. Yeah, I actually played Inklings in the beginning and I don't know that. That's a that's a good question. Fraudulent the, Inkling. Huh? I was a fraudulent <laughs> Inkling. I, I didn't want to play Inkling. Please. Might have to go back. But nonetheless. But actually, <laughs> he's actually staying Diddy over mm -hmm. going his, you know, his main power. Um, yeah. And and I I mean I, I'm not mad at that because besides that uh, game at the early in, in stock one we had a game there like yeah you're actually you're you know totally I mean? right yeah you're, you're right you're really right we had a game there so uh, I'd like to see him avoid getting gimped and it looks like the splatter shot can actually knock Diddy out of barrels if if Diddy gets too close to the um, to the barrel of the gun it doesn't seem like it'll knock him out from from oh! from a distance and just like that. My man Utopian Ray letting us know, listen, game one, I was just collecting some data. <laughs> Let me show you guys what this Diddy could really do. And that was nice. Oh. Dunk on him real quick. 
basically. And he's like, all right, all right we're, we're about to play some ball. Mm -hmm. Some jail ball, some jail ball. <laughs> Y'all don't know about jail ball. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Almost and though, that's that buff. Like, Diddy does not have to charge barrels too much to get a lot of height on it. Yeah, and that was actually, that was actually a pretty, pretty, cool, pretty cool buff because yeah. he did take a lot of time charging ball. Mm -hmm. But Numbers over here, I mean, I think that Numbers is a cool and calculated player. Enough to the point where I think both of these players are trying to find out how to how to control the match in their pace. Uh -huh. And this is when Utopian Ray realized, I need to adapt my style. Yeah. I can't play slow just like I do with, you know, like like, like others. It's like, yeah. I have to kill him, like, right here, right now. Mm -hmm. I agree. And you can see he completely adapted oh, he this game. He did. Yeah. And he's only taking 34%, which is good. And I, and I was yeah, just this about... This is a game. This is a game. I was just about to say, I want to see how John Numbers uh, reacts to uh, that... Um, first stock that we saw from Utopia Ray, that uh, beating he took for that first stock. And it looks like he's re reacting pretty uh, pretty positively. Yeah, no, morale is a huge, mor morale is half the game in Smash. Yeah. It's, it's halfway skill, halfway mental, mental like, I was going to say capacity, <laughs> <laughs> but mental fortitude, yeah. right? And Numbers is just like not a person to let that to let that affect it too much. Mm -hmm. Great splatter shot? Is that what that's called? Yep. I don't, I just, uh, neutral B, uh, I don't know, I don't, or, I don't the, or the splat bomb. It's either the splat bomb or the splatter shot. Yeah. Probably the splatter yes. shot. <laughs> but yeah, John Numbers, I think one of the top if top two, if not best, inkling at using splatter shot. Like he'll find so many different ways to gimp your character, keep your wall your character out, and just be annoying with that splatter shot. And at the same time, put you in a position where you can put so much damage on you. Because if you don't know, that multiplies the amount of damage and oh! stock for a stock. I'll take it, worth, Array worth, says. Worth, I will worth, take worth. it. Right, that was now, really nice. And now this is a last stock situation. And if your numbers, you know, what's going on through your head right now is like, you know, I I, I, I had a clean match last time, you know? Mm -hmm. And now he actually adapted enough to get me yeah. to the point where this is like straight up even. Mm -hmm. So it's, he has to figure out what to, what, to, what, to, what to do at this point. Mm -hmm. you know? It's just like, all right, who is going to be able to get to, to get their opponent to play their game? Yeah. Notice the spacing that numbers is doing. Or taking, rather. You know? A bit, a bit, a bit more cautious and getting... And a bit more safe. Yeah. I would say. And, and in uh, game one, going into this last stock, he was vi much more comfortable than he is now. He had a stock lead. He was a, he kind of pressed a couple more buttons. It's now it's fear. like, do you get scared? Do you play differently, or do you continue to uh, keep the same game plan? And this is the thing with Diddy. He has a very linear recovery. Uh -huh. He uses the barrels. You know he's going to use the barrels. Uh -huh. You know he can turn them, but he has to charge them a bit. Mm -hmm. Or he has a side B, which a lot of a lot of people. Used against him in the Diddy in the Diddy matchup. Yeah. It's like if you get a side B, he's just gonna do that. Just jump in there, and then you're gonna have to, you know, take uh, take hold the elbow. Mm -hmm. Beautiful back, back throw. throw. Yep. How do you get back to the beginning of the stage? Great right splat! It. Oh, is that splat bomb? Splat, splat bomb. bomb yeah, yep. Right. I did it. Okay. I, did it. I named it. <laughs> there you go. Now Utopian Ray just has to figure out how to reset the neutral. Nice. I like that because that's where John has been excelling, keeping him on the ledge, putting on damage, and then getting those gimps. Okay, just gonna up, up air, gonna put him back into the air. All right, and both of them actually playing the neutral so well. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of a lot of dashes back to back and forth, just to space around each other. Stuck in shield. Oh, yeah, that was a scary situation. <laughs> this is Smash Four. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you're both in shield and you're like, yeah, who's, who, gonna, who's gonna who's gonna flinch first? It's, it's the anime setup. Beautiful, down tilt, not, not gonna, gonna do it. it. Uh, <laughs> not going win. I see okay. you're also a man of culture. And oh. I think that throw's going to do it. Yeah, yeah back to my Yeet! Nice. Not yet! Good DI. This I like it. This monkey is heavy! Oh! Does he have oh, a jump? Oh, that's no jump. dirty. Oh, that's mm. dirty. Unfortunate. Oh, Unfortunate. I'm actually yeah, he used the jump and then, then charged the barrels. I'm actually surprised he didn't just hold it and uh, opt to go under the splatter shot to just clip the ledge or just grab the ledge. Yeah. Instead, oh, oh and that jump. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, was, that was dirty. That was dirty. Don't call him real quick. I mean, it, I feel it, like he was kind of scared of the um, yeah. the the furthest part of the splatter shot, mm. uh, and I don't think that knocks Diddy off of barrels. I could be wrong because we haven't seen this matchup too much, but um, he could have opted to just right kind of just uh, just hold it, go past the splatter shot, and then uh, grab the lead from the bottom. Here we go. We can we can see it again over here. Charging the barrels. See? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It looked I like mean, he got I, scared. I think he definitely would have survived. Yeah, because he had his, he, has, he has enough distance to go under PS2. Does yeah. He? Now uh, he does uh, not anyway, even right? like not even go under. Like just go past the splatter shot. Man, yeah. And yeah, then I just clip the ledge from underneath. Because I don't think John would have been able to stop the splatter shot and yeah. still edge guard. 